here outside of T-Mobile Arena. This is where one of the free viewing parties is for the game tonight. There's a few across the valley. People are very excited, but even just watching the game on a screen, well, that can get your adrenaline pumping. Games can be exhausting for diehard Knights fans. You don't have to be on the ice to get out of breath and sweaty. Going in there, somehow it just absorbs you. And I can't explain that in a medical and scientific way, but I can tell you personally, it was an amazing experience. If you think your heart is racing when you watch a game, you're not imagining things. Dr. Amelie says watching the game on TV can increase your heart rate 75% from normal. If you're watching from the stands, it can increase 110%. There are three cases during the game when you'll feel your heart beating hardest. When your team tries to score, when the other team tries to score, and when the game goes into overtime. Could this set off a heart attack? Doctors say in rare cases, yes, but especially for those with heart conditions. For most people, the games are not literally heart stopping. For a moment, everybody's together and the same and enjoying things together. I think that's actually heartwarming and that's probably priceless. Of course, I meant to say that the game is tomorrow night. I do know that. There are, in all seriousness, a few symptoms to look out for, okay? If you've got shortness of breath, tightness in your chest, or a feeling of indigestion or heartburn that lasts for more than a minute that extends from your jaw or even your arm, that's when the doctors say probably you should call 911. Back to you. Yeah, you might just think it's just the game, no big deal, but you got to take it seriously. Yes. It does get our blood flowing and our, our heart pumping mm -hmm. and it makes sense. Thanks, Parker.